What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Got a bunch of people over here in the pool area enjoying themselves. One of the reasons that Rita wanted me to get this place is for the pool area so that they can enjoy themselves. Neither here nor there. Um, I'm not here to be in the pool area. I'm here to take care of business. And you know the thing about being here is similar to what I was talking about before and that it seems like there's no time because the entire time that I've been here outside of what I consider fun but even that was work the entire time that I've been here we've actually just been working and working and working and working and working and taking care of business neither here nor there I'm okay with that because what I do I love to do it but um, it is a lot of work and it is a lot of grind and it is a lot of hustle and so we hear it. But that's not what I want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk to you guys about what's going on in the job market, um, when it comes to business, the great resignation turning into the great regret. The great resignation turning into the great regret. What I see happening, and I've even seen this personally, right? A lot of people left the positions that they were in in order to go over to greener pastures. Now, before they did that, one of the things that they did was they took a little time off for themselves. And people think that the, the environment that they stay in and the economy that they're in, they move according to the whims and the woes of what's happening at that time instead of sticking to the plan. I'm gonna say it one more time and then I'm gonna break it down for you. They, they move based off of the whims and the woes of what's happening in the economy and the environment at that time. So what that means is that if the economy is really good and it's a whole lot of jobs that's plentiful, then they decide that they wanna kick back and chill and relax and then make decisions based off of that. So I'll give you an example. Somebody that deviates from their original plan, uh, let's use somebody that recently left a place that I am employed at right now. So my corporate position, right? And you know, it's funny because when you're mentoring people and you got a good relationship with them, they are a little bit more open and forthcoming with why they're doing what they're doing. And I'm okay with that. That's cool. Like my job is to make sure that I am, I, I give you all the tools you need to be successful. I don't even want to hold you back. I want you to be successful, but at the same time, I have to call out when it doesn't make sense. And so somebody had came to me, right? And they were like, Anton, listen, I want to move over to this place because, you know, because it's a shortage over there. I can leverage that and make a whole lot more money or I think that I could um, be in a better position. And I was telling them, I said, listen, they're not going to pay you more money, but they will give you a few more trinkets and you're going to regret it in the long term because your trajectory here or your trajectory um, outside of here, not going there. Because I often tell y'all that when y'all interview at these places or when you start to pay attention to these places, you have to do research search on them in the same way that they do research on you. It's just as much of an interview on them as it is you being interviewed for the job. Don't just look at the pay. Don't just look at what it is that you promise. Pay attention to every single aspect of what's going on. Pay attention to, because I'll give you one example. One thing that I always say is that I'm always making sure that I'm at a place for about three years. Minimum three years, I start getting the itch. Four years, it's time to go. And this person, they wasn't even, they were a great worker, but they wasn't here um, they was here for less than a year. Well, long story short, they wind up leaving and the same thing happened to them that was documented online and I'm not gonna talk about it, but you can go on these different sites, Glassdoor, whatever. And you should even talk to, especially if you are making a move laterally, locally, meaning that you're making a, a move in which you're gonna be in the same position, but you think that the upward mobility is bigger. You can research and talk to different people in the area and usually somebody knows somebody that worked there and you can get a good feel for what it's like there, right? And so they make this lateral move over there and then the economy is changing a little bit and they got laid off. And so one of the things that they're doing is they're trying to come back. They're trying to come back to where it was green in the first place. Kind of reminds you of a relationship, doesn't it? You know how married people that think that it's cooler to be single and single people think it's cooler to be married? 
you're always going to be looking at the other side trying to figure out why it feels so much better to be that way and you can't understand why everybody on that side is complaining about being on that side it's always better where you are and happiness and you making your own fortune is going to be based off of how you feel it's almost like anywhere that you travel the fun is with you it don't matter if you go over to Cincinnati or you go over to, to Cabo who you are is going to be determined how much fun you have the environment is extra yeah it is better places and so on and so forth but you need to be happy where you are and that's going to determine your success long term but anyways this person is trying to get back and I'm not gonna talk about it any more than that but my point is is that uh, the great resignation of what we've been documenting for an extended period of time um, and I've been talking about this over the past year the great resignation where it seemed like nobody could find job or everybody could find a job and it was a shortage of workers and all of this other type of stuff it's turning into the great regret for a lot of people it really is a lot of people are starting to lose their jobs they're getting laid off and it's similar to what's going on in the economy and that there are enough jobs I just read a report that said the 22 million jobs that was lost during the pandemic was all recovered but was it really because our wage is the same that they were are people as happy as they were before they went into the pandemic you, you see what I'm saying like people that wanted to quit and they wanted to do certain things or they went off and they started their own business because they felt like they couldn't do more than one thing at once are they really being successful I would imagine that some are but more often than not what I'm seeing especially happening in these large companies is that you know workers that were in middle management and people that were even in tech depending on which uh, companies you work for such as Netflix and Coinbase and things like that and, you know when I look at what's happening over at Ford Motor Company and automakers and things I'm seeing that it's a lot of regret I'm seeing a lot of restructuring I'm hearing a lot of companies say hey you know we gonna go in a different direction or we need to do more with less and those jobs that are being recovered are they still paying the same is it the same freedom are people now being required to go into work or are they required to work from home you got to ask yourself these questions and st start doing a lot more research on these companies before you pivot and you want to move over in a different direction is it best for you and do you have the plan laid out to where you need to be and then you can milestone it out and then it actually makes sense long term you need to be having conversations with the bag chasers link to the patreon is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat we have some awesome conversations we do some phenomenal things there's some also awesome patreon exclusive videos that'll take you to the next level it doesn't matter what level you at join a discord is linked to the patreon in which there's a group of people waiting to help you become the best version of yourself I got other coaches in addition to me that pour into you 24 hours a day seven days a week we doing build the business in which I'm investing my money to teach you how to open up your own brick and mortar store or e-commerce it's a lot going on you need to join the bag chasers if you need to get in touch with me personally email me at Anton Daniels 413 gmail.com and we gonna get it pop and listen I need to get ready for uh, the Lapeef let's talk two-day weekend here in Atlanta um, we gonna be doing that no time to go swim no not no time to chill and just relax and have a good conversation I have to be there in about two hours so um, you know got to get the beard cleaned up got to get that teach pack shout out to teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift link is in the description and and read is out shopping so I got to get going I got to take care of business I love y'all I appreciate y'all please make informed decisions do not jump off the bridge instead jump off the porch where it's safe and just in case be able to walk back up so that you can then make the best of your life or the rest of your life the best of your life i love you i'm appreciating you i'm gonna holler at you later peace